Well, this morning I woke up to a big surprise. The big 4-0. Yes, it's my birthday, but I might have got the greatest gift ever. Or did I? Microsoft released an update to the mobile version of OneNote. Now, for those of you that are in the digital planning world, over the last few months, we've been extremely disappointed because in an update that took place in April and May and June for Android users, we experienced this background image scaling issue. So if you are someone that uses OneNote for digital planning and you purchased one of our OneNote planners or any OneNote planner out there that uses the background images, on your mobile device, it shrunk way down. And that caused a lot of frustrations, especially for me, that when you did that, it then synchronized across your entire ecosystem. So it started to show up on your iPad, it started to show up on your desktop. And unfortunately, as that happened, your planner kind of became like broken and useless and just created a lot of frustration. For many of you that were experiencing this, we offered that, hey, you could switch to another app like GoodNote or some type of PDF annotation, but just know you can't synchronize across all ecosystems of Windows. Android and Apple. And if you still want to do that, send us a message. We're providing that to anybody that wants to try a different application. Free of charge, we'll exchange you. But today, guys, I saw the update and I thought to myself, did Microsoft fix the issue? Well, to my surprise, it got partially better. And I can explain that. And I'm going to show you how it got partially better. But the first thing I want to show you is that when I opened up my mobile version of my phone, I'm used to always seeing this. This is the background scaling issue that we talked about. But now when I go into OneNote, I can go into you know, today's date, for example, and pull up the 13th of November, and yes, it is my 40th birthday, but now that looks like I expect it to look. That is what I want to see. And I, when I did that, I saw that, and I was like, wow, that's absolutely cool. Party on, people. I woke my kids up. Um, but anyway, they were excited to see me. It's my birthday. But today, guys, I'm going to show you how we've made a big step forward. It doesn't fix everything. But when we can start to see this again on our mobile device, that is huge. So I'm going to walk you through how you can do this. And if you run into a little bit of hiccups, which I have ran into a few, because not every single day my planner is built out like this one, there is a workaround that's going to help you utilize this system so that you can start using your mobile device again. So if you guys are using other devices like the Fold 5, yes, I'll tell you first and foremost, it's not been an issue. It hasn't been an issue. And that's probably the biggest reason why those that have these bigger foldable tablets like devices have been pretty happy with utilizing OneNote throughout this whole experience. But if you're somebody that has been using an iPad, a Samsung tablet, a Surface Pro, a desktop, a laptop, and you've been synchronizing your planner across all your devices and absolutely loving it, but then when you get your mobile phone, if it be Android or Apple, you get that shrunk screen, it's been frustrating and pretty much has resulted in you putting this away. But let's take a look at how you can kind of make this happen so it can work for you. So let's jump over into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up my planner page. I'm going to go on here and I'm just going to write a quick little diary of stuff. So we're going to have coffee. We're going to have lunch. Yeah, we're getting the key three in here today. And we're going to work out. Now granted, under certain circumstances, I have a lot more going on. But for this illustration, I just want to show you a handful of things. Now, as I'm doing this, you can see on the desktop version over here, it is updating in real time. But what happens now when I go to my mobile version? So here I'm at my mobile version right here. I'm going to go ahead and just pull the synchronization down, jump into December. I'm going to go ahead and refresh that. And I'm going to look for the 23rd of February, which is the test date we're doing this on to Saturday. I'm going to click on that. And you can see right there that that is what I expect. It looks like I expect it to, right? Okay, well, here's the issue. Let's just say I jump to a new page, like the 25th, which is Christmas. I'm going to write Christmas on here. Not a lot going on. I'm going to jump over my desktop just to see how that syncs over. And that should show up here in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little filler in there. And you can see it sunk over there. So if it's sunk from the iPad to the desktop, that tells me that then it is in the cloud. So let's go ahead 
and we'll jump to the 25th tier and see what happens. 25th, pulling, oh my gosh, that is the problem that we saw. Well, you'll notice one thing. The page was sinking in real time. I didn't pull down the refresh before I actually went to the page. So therefore what happened is it loaded the previous page that was there and didn't have any of the annotations on it. And that's what caused the error. So now I'm gonna jump back and just jump back to the 23rd because that looked beautiful. I'm gonna to go to my desktop here and I'm going to select this text. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cut. And then I'm gonna go down to the individual page and you can do this on a Windows computer too or online. Right click on a page, hit show versions and then click on a previous version. This looks like it should. I'm gonna go ahead and hit restore and then right click on the date again so it hides it. You can also go into show pages, hide pages. And now I'm gonna come in here and hit paste and pull this back down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first go to my iPad here and synchronize this page. And that looks correct, right? That's what we wanna see right there. Okay, we go back into OneNote. On my phone, I'm just gonna go ahead and synchronize this let it finish synchronizing, it did so. Now I'm gonna jump back to the 25th. And now you can see that it is, it is updated as we would expect. So guys and gals, there you have it. There is a quick little inside look at what's taking place here. Now I'm not sure if it took place in this update or a previous update. I mean, the Microsoft Cloud is giving me a little gift and I'm happy to share that with you. The biggest takeaway in this is remember, synchronize your page section before you go into the individual page because what's happening from what I can tell is when you go into the individual page, it's synchronizing that page template down, the mobile device is shrinking it, and then the annotation updates that you made are coming on top of it, and then it's pushing that synchronization back to the cloud so everything looks missed and combobulated. Yes, you can go back to your desktop or the online version, and restore it and then allow you to synchronize that page section again on your mobile device and it seems to work perfect. Now, this isn't like a perfect resolution. If we go back to April where it just worked, I'd be totally happy and guys and gals, go in the comments. There's gonna be a link in there. Go ahead, continue to express your concern with this so that Microsoft can continue to make updates. My guess is the reason why we're seeing this is because Microsoft is looking at a bigger improvement somewhere across the ecosystem that's going to allow this to work across all devices with different tools and different features that we're looking for. And this is part of the architect of building that uh, new version of OneNote that we're longing for. If you're an Android user, this should start to help. And we always know Apple gets the updates first, Android follows. So that's big. The other thing I want to take a minute and show you guys our planning system. If you haven't already, there's a couple cool features in 2024 that are really going to make OneNote awesome to use again. So when I go into my planner and I go into OneNote on my tablet here, we now have this year at a view, which this year at a view allows me to go into like text mode or reading mode on my device or my iPad. And I can go to any single date by simply clicking on it and hitting open. I can go to that particular date. When I go to the desktop, it even gets a little easier. I can click on 2024 and I can go into the year to view and I can just naturally click on any of these pages. Now, you saw what happened there. You saw a little image that's kind of showing some gray boxes. Well, we have a thing called tiles, digital tiles, that allows you to go ahead and personalize your planner. I can turn off this background scale and I can remove my time slot here. I can go into my daily tiles and say, for example, I want a 24 hour format. I can go ahead and hit copy. I can bring that back into my planner, which, <laughs> what date was I on? Oh, I think I was on June, was it June? Oh my gosh, was it June 7th? Nope, uh, oh boy. This is where when you guys are doing a video, you gotta remember what you're doing. I can't really hit rewind and well, I'm gonna figure out what page that was later, but I'll just start over here. Hit select background. I'm gonna take that daily tile out of there and I'm gonna go ahead and hit paste. And now I have this daily tile in here. What's so cool about this is in our daily tiles, you have the option of seeing all of these different types of page layouts. And this is just what we created. You can go ahead and create all of your own with all the different tiles that we have. 
we probably have one of the very first OneNote planning systems that integrates digital stickers, which is our professional version we call Tiles, allowing you to basically have all these customized pages. And there's some pretty cool stuff that we've created, everything from like balance wheels to Cornell notes, to different types of habit trackers and meeting logs. And then we even have the, like the basics where you have just additional notes and stuff. So if I want to grab a note page here, which we all seem to always want more notes, I can go to any given day and I can just drop on more notes and I can easily do that. So that's just one, two of the big features in our OneNote planner. This combined with fixing the mobile version of OneNote really helps me jump back into OneNote, really dive into it and use it across all my different platforms because it truly is the only universal note-taking application that allows you to sync Renai's across tons of different platforms. The last thing I'm gonna tell you is because if you're using OneNote, now you have the ability to share these notes with friends and family and colleagues. And if they're on different platforms, that's okay too because it's universal, it syncs that way. So, and we got plenty of videos on that. If you learned one thing in this video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna do more videos all the time talking about updates and tech. And give the video a like. If, if Just even for the fact that I'm working on my birthday to bring this to you, I think that deserves a little love. If it doesn't, move on and we'll carry on, right? But anyway, Lord willing, guys, I hope your day is the best and that we get to see each other once again. So with that, God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you guys in the next video.